Uh. Now, speaking about people that are good with their lives, we are speaking about none other than Andrew Kibe, who has somehow still found a way to trend in this new year. And this time, he's trending for something that is heartfelt for me. Honestly, yeah, it's a little sad. So he says that 2020 was a really rough year for him. He not only lost his house, his car, he also was homeless for a little bit of time. He wasn't specific about how long. This, I will point this out, is after a few screenshots were trending a few days ago about one of his people trying to send people messages telling them that, oh, let us influence for you and pay you such and such an amount. Right. Now, I don't know whether I can correlate the stories. I'm just giving you point A and then point B. You draw strings where you need to draw strings. <laughs> now, he went on to talk about, you know, how rough the year has been and stuff. And so, of course, being Tatomi, I did go to his social media to see what's happening. I mean, the comments, it's always the comments, right? So a few people were obviously trying to help him feel better about himself, blah, blah, blah. But then a lot of other people were not really necessarily part of the gang that was going, oh, poor Andrew Kibe, oh, da, 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 da. So here is a few people who I think I prefer to listen to or talk about. DJ Shitty, the comedian, said, Shida, um, Shida nikituiko, ata sisi wenye tunaishirunda, tuliteseka, jutuliwa kunywa chai na mkate bila sausage. Sometimes lunch, tuka, uh, lunch tuna, tuna letewa baga bila soft drink mbili, and blah, blah, blah. Which kind of sounds very sarcastic. And a bunch of other people saying, Pia Mimi, I lost my helicopter in 2020. <laughs> na sasa, mnani post, uh, a bunch of people are just saying random things. Lots of people commenting about the way he addresses the nation by calling us you um, mothers and whatevers, you know? Yeah. The whole phrase that he starts out his conversations with, yeah. So technically speaking, it's a lot of sarcastic comments and just funny slurs about how he works around his things. Here is the truth of the matter. His radio station is new. His online radio station is new, and he does need to have some traction. So I don't know how to think about it. I feel like I'm pulled in both directions. Is it true? Is it not true? However, I have been in a situation like similar to that one, and I know how honestly lonely you feel and how confused you feel and how you don't really know how to move on and where to go. So I sympathize with him for that particular case. But I, if this is cloud chasing... I will be very mad at you. I believe it. And you know what's really interesting? When I'm seeing these comments, that like, even me, my helicopter is gone. I'm just like, I, it's not as if he was rich to begin with. Like, let's just be honest. Wow. No shade, <laughs> no shade at all. But he was just a regular guy. You know, wow. literally regular you guy, my guy type of guy. So it's not as if he's like, just like the, a billionaire who's now just come become a millionaire or a single millionaire he was just a regular guy and it's very believable that you'd be going through hard times you have literally gone ahead and quit your job your stable job and decided to start a whole radio station in a okay let's just stick to lanes i feel like you're you we, you're used to talking to us on social media and then you go and decide to make a whole radio station an online radio station there's a difference between having your little um your crowd of people that are following you on social media versus now generating revenue on a large platform and getting uh, people to go ahead and like come up, be a part of your brand and everything. He's not exactly family friendly. It, it, besides alcohol and clubs, I don't know which sponsor is gonna come to his mm. uh, platform, you mm. know? And during that time, 2020, alcohol and clubs were not even being able to like you know really do well so it's not shocking that he was put up on hard times so i'm just like even us like I, I i i feel for him but i just don't know like why you feel like he and then why, why he walked put it, into it he walked into yeah. that situation like why you could have just you quit stayed your with job? why why should why you quit your you quit job to job? start a business I mean, you need to continue with the job and get funds from the job to yeah. start a business yeah it doesn't work uh, vice versa you have to follow the steps and be good to people so that if you need any financial help, they'll be ready to help. But if you're, uh -uh, I won't even help you. Well, do you think that's what the problem was? That maybe he was up on hard times and then when it came to like asking people for help, people were just like, mm. Mm. Cool, mostly you show them an attitude or maybe when they need help, you're not um, available. Mm. So it, it comes back to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now people won't be ready to help you. So I don't know, maybe what? that's what happened. I don't know. I always thought that he was smart enough that there was an online persona and then there's regular him. I'm realizing that that is not a very common thing within our media personalities. <laughs> it is very strange that you think that someone is actually smart in real life and this is just the radio, TV, 
online personality but you realize that most people actually that is who they are yeah. and that is as shallow as it goes but honestly what is your opinion oh triple seven six seven two two thirty hashtag ibu let's talk on uh, twitter let us know what you think about this particular story and all the others that we've just spoken about